Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. So today we will continue our lesson on digital electronics, chapter 6, combinational MSI. From previous lesson, you have learned about uh, the application and the function of the multiplexers and also the decoder. And today, what you will learn is, you will learn what is the functions and applications of the encoder and how does it works in our uh, digital circuits. So, let's take a look. Encoder is a device which is used to perform a reverse function of decoder. Encoder it is also used to compress the input into a code that contains the same information but in a fewer bits. So, in encoder, it has a total of two the power of n inputs and also n outputs. For example, if the input of the encoder has a total of 8 inputs, which is 2 to the power of 3, so the output that the encoder must have is 3. So the notation of the encoder is 2n to the power of 2n. It means that the number of input to the number of output. So in encoder, only one input is allowed to be activated at any one time as the function of the encoder is used to indicate the activation of the input by observing the pattern of the output it only allows one input to be activated so now we will take a look at the applications of the encoder so in encoder this this figure shows the example of the compass needle applications so i'm sure that most of you has, have used compass in your life, for example, in your mobile phone. So this compass has a total of 8 directions. So each and every direction will be connected to each and every input inside the encoder. So from the input, it will be converted into 3 bits of output, which is the angular positional code. So in this example, as you can see, the compass is directed to an east. Therefore, the signal east is activated, which is indicated by uh, digital data 1. And then, the output from the encoder is 010, which indicated the east direction. So, to make you to further understanding the functions and also how encoder works, Let's take a look at the next slide. Now, let's take a look at one of the examples of the encoder type, which is 422 encoder. So, 422 encoder, it consists a total of 4 input and 2 outputs. So, this is the example of the block diagram of the 422 active flow encoder. So, it means that for active flow, if you want your input to be activated, you must give a signal 0 to the input. Okay, the functions set of the 422 encoder is as follows. So, the output A1 and A0 will become 0, 0 when the input uh, encoder D0 is activated, which is, we give 0 to the D0, and it will activate uh, input signal D0 and it will make the output to become 0, 0. So similar to the next function, if we activated the signals D1 by giving 0 to the input D1, the output signal will become 0, 1. So next, if we activate the input D2, which we will, we will give 0 to the input D2, we will get an output of 1, 0. And if we activate this input signal of D3 by giving 0, so we will get the output. So from the function expression, you can get the equations of A1 and A0. So for A1, in order to get the expression, we are using the SOP expression in this example. So in order for you to find the expression of A1, you need to know which 
expression shows uh, the A1 when it is activated. So A1 is activated when uh, the what do you call the output of A1 is equals to one. So it means that in the third and fourth expression, A1 is activated because it is one. Okay, so from this uh, expression, you can get the equations. So the first one is one zero one one implies on the third expression and the second uh, expression comes from this one which is 0 1 1 1 okay similar to a0 you can get the equations of a0 by observing when a0 is activated so in order for you to observe which expression uh, when the a0 is activated is on the second and fourth expressions Therefore, you can get the equations of A0, which is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, and also 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, where A0 is equals to 1. Okay, this figure shows the, fu the function table of uh, the behavior of the inputs and outputs of the 4 to 2 encoders. So from the inputs, you can see that when D0 is activated, the output is 0, 0. When D1 is activated, the output is 0, 1. When D2 is activated, the output is 1, 0. And when D3 is activated, the output is 1, 1. So, what will happen if more than one input is 0? So, it means that what will happen to the encoder when we have two input which is activated simultaneously? For example, D1 is, is, is equals to 0 and D2 is, is, is equals to 0. So when this situation is happening, the output will become 1, 1 because both of them are activated. So it means that there is an error inside the encoder system. So in order to solve this problem, what do we need is we need to use a priority encoder. So what is priority encoder? Let's take a look at the next slide. In priority encoder, the output is depends on the largest active input. So in order for you to further understanding this statement, let me show you the block diagram. So the block diagram of the active flow priority encoder is similar to the general active flow encoder. But it has two types of level, which is a priority, which is the lowest priority and also the highest priority. So in priority encoder, the highest priority will be given to a higher input notation. So it means that the priority from D0 to D3 will become higher, where D0 has the lowest priority. So the function of the priority encoder is similar where when D1, D0 is activated, the output will become 0, 0. When D1 is activated, the output will become 0, 1. When D2 is activated, the output will become 1, 0. And when D3 is activated, the output will become 1, 1. And also the function of what you call the expression of A1 is also similar to the previous slide. And A0 is also similar to the general 4 to 2 active flow encoder. But the differences that we can see here is the X notations which indicate don't care situations. So the function table uh, shows all of the situation of inputs and outputs of the active flow priority encoder where when D0 is activated, the output will become 0, 0. D1 is activated, the output will become 0, 1. The D2 is activated, the output will become 1, 0. And the D3 is activated, the output will become 1, 1. So the don't care situations notation inside the active low priority encoder shows that it doesn't really matter what is the types of input which is uh, 0 or 1 for D0 when D1 is activated the output will become 0 1 so 
what happens is more than one input is zero. D1 is zero, and also D0 is zero. So what will be happening is that um, when D1 is zero and D0 is zero, it will become zero one because D0 has becoming don't care situation. Okay, so it doesn't care what is the situation and what is the state of D0, the output of the encoder will become 0, 1 because the higher notation of the input is 0. Similar to the second situation when D2 is activated and at the same time D1 is, acti is activated. So this encoder will give a priority to a higher number of notation which is D2 Therefore, it will choose 1, 0 as the output. So, this is how the 422 Active Flow Priority Encoder solve the situation of simultaneous input activations situation where it gives the priority to a higher notation of the input signals.